Yeah, I don't trust anybody in an overcoat in this heat. Sorry, honey. Even I knew they were lying. No one wears a coat like that in this heat. Oh, I don't like R&D. Nope, nope, nope. It's a no. Hey guys, it's your girl Aisha, aka GeekXXChic, and we are back with another episode of Fallout. We are now on to episode five, which is called The Past. So the last episode, we had a lot of focus on Lucy and the ghoul. So you know that uh, back a couple episodes ago, Lucy accidentally broke these vials that apparently the ghoul needs. If he doesn't get them, he starts getting real hacky and coffee. And my guess is that, well, actually we discover what happened. We find out that with these ghouls, if they don't get whatever's in those vials, they start to devolve like mentally and they turn into, I guess, what they're, the literal name of ghouls, right? They, they lose their sense of identity. They lose their minds and just become these feral creatures that attack anything and everything. So that is what we're seeing. The ghoul wants to stave off. And so he takes Lucy, uh, well, on this long journey to a broker who has these vials. But on the way, of course, he's not letting Lucy eat. He's not giving her any water. And it's kind of his way of kind of proving to her that it's hard out here on the surface. And he kind of wants her to, in his mind, come down a few pegs. He feels like Lucy's looking down on him and on the surface people. And I think to an extent she kind of was, but not in like a, you guys are beneath me sort of way, but more in a, why do you live this way sort of way. But we see that through the course of events in the episode, Lucy being sold and you know her organs almost harvested. But we see that despite all of that, Lucy actually ended up giving him his vials at the end because she ends up taking out this whole, this whole racket uh, kind of accidentally. <laughs> And even though she could have left and left the ghoul there to die, she instead gave him the vials and basically said, look, I'm not gonna be like you. Like that's that's a choice. And so we see that he went back in, took the vials and he ended up finding an old video of himself on one of these movies that he did way back when. And then on the other side, we had a little bit of Vault 33 and we see that Lucy's brother is struggling with being there. He's really just not sure what's going on now that his dad is gone, Lucy's gone, and they still have all these prisoners and there's an election happening to try to replace his father, but he's just really trying to figure out the truth of what's going on there. And he ends up following his instincts uh, after talking to one of the prisoners and taking his cousin Chet with him. And they investigate Vault 32 and discover that it's actually been dead for a while. But more importantly, he found out that the, the surface people who came in, that the people who let them in, because he was like, how did they get in if everyone here has been dead for years? And they found out that the key that they had to get in was his mother's. So yeah, ready to get into this episode. Just before I jump in though, you know the drill. If you'd like to be in the know, be notified of when I do uploads for this show or anything else you might be watching of mine, please go ahead, hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell, and you will be in the know. All right, that out of the way, guys. Let's get into the episode right now. You should brand me. All right. I'm not officially your squire until you brand me. It's late. It's late. <laughs> That scream is real. Okay, that's good. You can let go now. Don't put clothes right on it. Thank you. Hi, Titus. Don't put clothes on it. Titus and Thaddeus. The T Boys. Yeah. Yeah. You can never take that suit off. You know that, right? There's probably something I, I, I should tell you. I feel like you should go to the base first. Whatever you want. I don't, I don't think it's a good idea. Now you can tell me anything. He's not going to be happy about the fact that you branded him. You should have told him before you branded him. Yikes. Yeah. You should have told him before you branded him. We can still be friends. No, I don't think he will. What did you do? Yeah. First night of Titus. Uh, he's... He died of natural causes. You and I, we, we just have to get our story straight. Oh, Maximus, you're so naive. I should have known better than to trust you. I mean, he's not lying. Off me! Don't leave me in here! I'll fucking kill you, Thaddeus! You should have! Yep, I told I you you should have. You fucking brand me. Didn't I say you should have told him before you branded him? Thaddeus! Get back down! Oh, Maximus, you are just, you have so much to learn, bro. I don't feel sorry for you, Maximus. I'm sorry. He's just not the brightest bulb in the chandelier, you know? Anyway. Well, I guess the good thing is you probably won't get eaten to death. At least not by that. 
Unless they've got like acid in them or something. Oh, never mind. Oh, hey, Luce. She's a dead shot, though. Yeah, Lucy's had enough. Believe me, I really want to trust you, but I've had a rough week. She's learning, which sucks. I remember that uh, man I left with with the glasses and the, the whole body. Yes. Hey, I'm looking for his head. I had it. I really want to believe you, but practically every person I've met up here has tried to kill but me. But he didn't. So. In fairness, I'll give him that. You don't get this medicine, you're going to pass out. And if you lose consciousness, we're both gonna die. Right? That part he's telling the truth, though. Please. You got nothing to lose at this point, Luz. What's your name? Maximus. Maximus. I'm Knight Titus. <sighs> There's a manual option. He's just... I got it. Yeah, she's smart. She could probably jerry rig that for right? you. My army started using these after the Battle of Anchorage. And he's even got the tempered lining in this one, which <laughs> is. She's about to pass out. Can you get her the pills, please? Why? This is the thing you're asking why about. Yeah, I want to actually. One more thing. You can leave can if you want, Chet. You can leave. Come on, pony up. Are you trying to leave? We know what's in there. It looks like they were trying to get into 31. But why? That's a good question. Is 31 gone too? If anybody asks what we were, I'll have a heart attack. <laughs> Covered in dust. Not suspicious Norman? at all. Chester? We weren't in Vault 32! Where have you two been? Spelunking. Oh, my squire stole something vital to the Brotherhood. I've got to go after him. Everybody on Earth seems to be after that thing. I'm guessing that's what you're looking for, too? What are you suggesting? We work together. We travel together. In exchange for my help, then... You'll lend me the services of five or six of your knights to save my father. That's not going to happen. But he's not going to tell you that. Why? Because Maximus is not smart. You could have been lying about the medicine and you weren't. And you could have killed me when I collapsed back there and... You didn't. You can trust me. Probably the only person you can trust up here. <laughs> Bro, seriously, she's smarter than you. So much smarter than you. Embarrassingly smarter than you. Anything else in that suit you might need? No, okay. I gotta give the credit where it's due. Someone actually did that drawing in chalk. That takes time and talent. Seriously, try to do a basic drawing on a chalkboard and see how hard that is. Are you supposed to tell people who you're voting for? Just all the uncertainty. Really, it's fine. We vote in private booths for a reason. Right. Which, no, it doesn't matter anymore for you. He's gonna and turn around again. Betty's oh my God, shut office. up. Just put your vote in, please, God. Right? Quickly now. Can you tell me what's happened in the last 200 years? <laughs> what do you mean? Since we got time to walk. I just need help with the last 200 years, after the bombs fell. The bombs fell when I was a kid. Is that what they tell you in your brotherhood? No, he saw it. You're the one who grew up in a box. Right, like ground. maybe let's not mock people yet. We're naive down there. She's learning. I really thought that the big light in our farm was the sun. My mom used to take me to play out under that light, and I swear I could feel the sun baking my skin. So, like, Earth is round, Earth is flat. Where are you guys at on that these days? <laughs> she's like, look, I'll just carry the conversation then. I mean, look, she's smart now. She's picking up that she needs to understand the surroundings a bit better. Ava West, 31 to 33. No, 32. What happened to 30? What's going on at 32? So what's in 31? Everyone's from 31. Is 33 the only one functioning? Betty Pearson has been elected vault overseer. Mm-hmm. Do we want to stir the pot quite yet? I don't think, I think you need more evidence. That's right, play along. Good boy. She's already suspicious of you. Don't want her calling Deadpool on you now. Uh-oh. Did we wander into your territory or whatever? Oh god, nope. Let's turn around. It's fine. You on? No! Maybe. Yes, 
they are. Are you armed? No. Both lying. There's no one here but us and them. You don't know that. They said they're not armed. They're lying. You're lying. Exactly. Are you trying to fuck us? Ew, not really. Yeah, I don't trust anybody in an overcoat in this heat. Hands up on the count of three. Ready? One. Can everyone here count? Okay, good cooperation, kids. Now let's walk real slow. They're walking too slowly for my liking. Longer strides. Oh, God, are you okay, ma'am? She's not okay. Oh, she wants what you got. Run! All right, impressive, Maximus. I didn't think you were that quick on the draw. Sorry, honey. Even I knew they were lying. No one wears a coat like that in this heat. Why? They wanted what you had. It's just a scratch. It happens all the time. What's a fiend? It's people who eat people. Oh, yum. I hate it up here. Agreed, sis. And I feel like everyone's irradiated. Why would you eat people? Okay. Maybe next time, pal. But it won't be. Because this thing's rigged, if you haven't figured it out yet. What you gotta do when you put a few posters up and let democracy run its course. Is it democracy, though? When things look glum, vote for somebody from Fall 31. Interesting that that's a phrase, huh? And every single leader's been from 31. Oh, yeah, I forgot she gave birth. By all accounts, Fall 31 has more resources. Better How do we know that? Yeah. How do we know that? Things look glum, vote 31. Propaganda. Why are we whispering? Mm -hmm. Because we just snuck into a vault filled with dead bodies. Exactly. Steph? Hmm? What's it like at th Vault 31? How's Vault 31 different from here? Hmm. Maybe the mashed potatoes were a little better? That is what my dad used to say. Exactly. Word for word. Must be true then. Mm-hmm. It must be true. Must be. Okay. Yep, time to talk to the prisoners. They're the only ones gonna give you the truth here, pal. First capital, the New California Republic, 2142. This isn't real, right? Mm, the lies. You never heard of the New California Republic? Not in our history books. The purpose of my vault was to come up to the surface one day and, and restart civilization. It, it's, it's reclamation day, it's what keeps us all going. And... Mm-hmm already happened without us. I mean, if any consolation, it didn't work out. Well, if it makes you feel any better, it didn't work out. <laughs> I, I can't help it. I could write this stuff. <laughs> wow, that looks welcoming. Is that a ground zero you're about to cross there? Great. What happened? What he said. I wonder if anyone survived. I did. That's what to say. He said he was here. We should keep moving. Yeah, you're bleeding, bro. This is more than just a graze. We have to get you something somewhere. Ah! The head can wait. Yeah, you're not going to live long enough to do anything with it at this point, pal. You're slowly bleeding to death. If you don't pass out from that, that's going to get infected. Either way. Mm, is it a hospital though? Do they harvest organs here too? Or maybe just make meat pies out of people? Lucy! Lucy! I mean, I hate it because they're both right. Like he's right to be cautious, but at the same time, Lucy's boldness has been stringing her along this far. So, oh, I don't like R&D. Nope, 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 it's a no. And just like that, we're in a horror movie. Medical supplies. Can you get out? Yeah. That sounded far. Yep, she's gonna make sure nobody else finds out the truth. It is important to me who 
for us all to see this place together. Mm -hmm. So I can control the information. And rebuild together. Something tells me that whole area has been scrubbed. Now, I spoke with the overseer of Vault 31. And, and he made agreed. sure to the clean up all of the evidence. Others will be moving into Vault 32 in the coming weeks. Look at all the bodies that have suddenly new. just what disappeared. A difference a day makes. What a difference a day makes. Wow, well done. Wow, 31 works fast, y'all. Wow. The cover-up is, re yeah, that fresh paint. To aid one another in times of need. We and the computer is broken, life. so no one can go back and check that info, huh? Mm-hmm. Don't touch me. Find anything interesting? Don't mock me. Great job cleaning up. Exactly. When my mother died, what happened to her pit boy? It was buried with her. Because I buried her myself. Oh, sure you did. And your father. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, she's letting you know your dad was in on it too. Damn, both of you fell for the same trap, huh? Gosh, and falling objects. <laughs> You're funny. Intake 07. I don't like the sound of that. They took your gun. They didn't take your thingy off your wrist, though. Can they take it off? I feel like it might be attached to her some way that can't come off easily. You'd think everyone would steal that immediately. We'll be all right. Y'all fall into a vault? You're in the best place in the world. <sighs> Which vault, though? Where's the number? We're in a vault. I don't see any numbers yet. Hmm. If they're in Vault 31, it's not going to be okay, kids. It's not going to be okay. Because now we know that must be the center. That must be what's running things. That's where whatever is going on, part of the conspiracy is hubbed out of is 31. All right, guys. Well, we got a little bit more of the information, some more pieces into this larger conspiracy that's happening. And we got to spend some time with Maximus. We know in the last episode, he wasn't present we didn't get to see much of going what was of what was going on with him but yes we see that lucy managed to find well let's go to maximus really quickly maximus you know he thought he was bonding with thaddeus and um as i said you know from a couple episodes before you know he kind of thought he had thaddeus figured out but then after spending time with him realized that there was a little bit more to the whole story around the bullying that he endured and all of that but unfortunately with thaddeus bringing up the fact that sooner or later they were going to have to go back to the base and that you know everything was going to have to come out it was kind of one of those things where you know maximus starts really be like okay how am i really going to handle this how is this going to work and i've been saying this for a while now that bro you're you're plan i mean i get why you let the real tight titus die but yet you didn't think this plan through forethought is not his forte but anyways he decides to confide in thaddeus thinking that maybe you know since we both came from the same place maybe thaddeus would be behind him but truthfully as i said if you were going to tell him something like that you should have told him before you branded him both like you should have told him before you permanently put a burn on his back but anyway uh unsurprisingly that did not go well and you know thaddeus is like no way like there's no way this is going to work and he's right like there's no way the brother is going to just like oh okay great you just decided to take this upon yourself and become a knight without any of the procedures we put in place like he was right Thaddeus is not lying they would kill him they would take the head thank him for doing that and then they would take him out because you can't have people thinking that they can just go ahead and take out the the knights whenever they want to right so anyway that didn't go the way he thought and of course you know as as much as Maximus thinks he's got a hold of that suit he doesn't and Thaddeus is a lot smarter than he looked so yes he managed to lock him in the suit and then try to head back Back on his own and we see that Maximus would have died because he was clearly already dehydrating and overheating in that suit and we saw whatever those bugs were they were gonna eat through that in no time and Lucy showed up saved him and he returned the favor by giving her some treatment because she's getting I think that water is really what got her the worst but yeah she's got some radiation poisoning and he gave her that help there but he was gonna go of course we see that he's keeping some things from Lucy still he's not telling her his real name he's not telling her about a situation which I'm not mad about that because I get like it's just gonna make him seem even more untrustworthy but he doesn't let her know that the head is what he's after as well because that's what he needs but lucy figures it out and she basically is like look you're never gonna find your squire at this point so at least i have this tracker i put in the head we'll find him 
will go back with you to your place, you know, to the to the base. And hopefully they will help me get my dad back, which I think he already knew, as I said in the episode, that there's no way they're going to help her. The Brotherhood's just going to be like, we don't know how you got up vault girl. They'll probably just drop her right back off at the vault. But either way, he goes with her because he's got no other choice, right? He has no idea where his squire is headed at this point. So they start traveling together and Lucy wisely starts to ask questions because, you know, bless her heart, she came up to the surface thinking that rescuing her dad was going to be like a really quick, you know, I'm going to come up, find him, bring him back home. She's realizing now after everything that the, the surface world is so different than anything she could have imagined. And she needs to get caught up, right? She's starting to realize that there are gaps in what she was told in the vault versus what actually happened. And Maximus gives her a little bit of an update. Like he's not volunteering too much info, but one of the biggest things is that she believes that the last of the, the first bombings happened 200 years ago. Ago, only to find out that there actually was another, there was another set of them that happened only, well, I mean, I think we can assume that Maximus is in his at most early 30s. So yeah, maybe 20 years ago. And she's like, what? No, that's not possible. And he's like, yeah, I lived through it. I would know. And so she's like, okay, that doesn't compute. And then of course they see that there was a whole new settlement of um, the new Republic of California that happened just like barely a hundred years prior. So she's like, wait, this is real? And he's like, yeah. And she's like, okay, we were told at the vault that civilization was still a wasteland. And that when we were ready to come back up, when civilization was ready to start over, we were supposed to come up and help them with that. And so again, just the realization that the vault has been lying and that the vault is, or at least keeping information. I think at this point she wouldn't assume lies. She would think withholding, you know, or that it was just really out, out of date. But either way, she's starting to understand that they're they're very naive and that everyone in the vault is behind the times and herself included. So again, I really like that Lucy is just taking it in and figuring it out and realizing that she needs to fill in the gaps if she wants to stop being had and taken by everyone on the surface. And then we see, of course, they have a scuffle with two cannibals and uh, that this ends up getting Maximus shot. But Maximus is a lot tougher than he looks. Like I said, not the brightest bulb in the chandelier, but you, I'm not gonna call him a whiner either. That kid can take lumps. So anyways, um, they are traveling. They finally get closer to where the squire is, but they still have a ways to go and Maximus is still bleeding. So she's like, yeah, no, we need to get help. There's no way around this. Like you're gonna die if we if you keep going this way. And they find a hospital and it turns out that the hospital is really just a cover for a vault. So I'm thinking with the other vaults that we saw, their openings were like these big, you saw like they were very clearly an entrance to a vault, right? They weren't fancy. They weren't trying to hide. They were just basically these entrances where this is underneath a hospital. So my guess is that this might be 31 because why would they try to conceal themselves, right? Or make sure that anyone who might stumble across it maybe never leaves. My guess is that surface people go into 31 all the way, all the time, hence the medical supplies trap and that there's probably a way to get back out to the service fairly easily. But yeah, we'll have to find out if that is in fact the case. But speaking of 31, that brings us back to the vault and we see that again, Lucy's brother is still put, you know, putting the pieces together he looks through the rest of 32 and recognizes that uh, outside of the fact that he found out that his mom's, what do they call it, pit boy? I guess, is my, I'm assuming it's just a fancy word for a key, that that was still out there somehow. He goes and he recognizes that the entrance that they have to Vault 31, that there's a bunch of people who clearly died trying to get into Vault 31. And so, and then there's writing on the wall once again in blood saying, we know what's in there. So he's like, what's going on in 31? Like, how could they have, like, it looks like they haven't opened the door. They didn't open the door all this time. What's going on? Like, how has there been no interaction between 31 and 32 after all this time? And so they go back and we see that he does his homework and he finds out that all of the transfers between people in 33 have been between 31 and 33. There's been no transfers between 32 and 33 until clearly what happened in episode one. That was the last one that they'd had. So, and every overseer that they've had elected in 33 for the last, what did she say? Almost over a hundred years has always been them 31. So he realizes that that's not a, that can't be a coincidence that everybody who came from 31 as a transplant somehow became the overseer of 33 and none have come from 32. And it looks like they didn't have that many transfers from 32 recently either. So yeah, he's like, that's kind of strange. That's weird. And then of course, in the very, the same election that's happening, we see that Betty has won the election and she happens to be also from 31 and she's also been an overseer. She was the overseer that, that served before 
his father did. So he's starting to realize that something is weird about 31. 31 is the is the real, you know, it's the common denominator in all this weirdness so far. And so he goes and he's trying to get Chet to like be someone to sound, you know, be a sounding board with. But we see that Chet, Chet's in the middle, right? He knows something's off. He definitely understands what, you know, his cousin's trying to tell him, but he's also one of the people that's bought into the, the whole vault vibes. And you can see that he really just wants to go back to being ignorant. But, you know, as I've said in other shows, once your mind's been expanded, it doesn't go back, right? You can't go back to being ignorant no matter how hard you try. There is no blue pill like in the Matrix that'll make you forget. So yeah, he's still trying to fight that. And then they try to ask um, the girl, I can't remember her name, the one who just had the baby, who also happens to be a 31. And, you know, I, I like that Lucy's brother is treat, treading very carefully because, you know, the, the, clearly he knows something big is going on. And I feel like if he trips up too quickly or says too much, it, it may end up getting him in trouble. So anyways, he asks it what should be an innocuous question about 31. And we see that she gives him a very like, oh, it must be the potatoes are better. And then he says, yeah, my dad said the exact same thing. And I know that he only said that for Chet's benefit. So Chet would hear the fact that why is it 31 has the same rehearsed answers, right? Why would they not have different? Like that doesn't make any sense. But anyway, he just says, yeah, okay, sure. And he kind of leaves. So anyways, we'll see if Chet's going to be a helper or not. I feel like Chet is clearly trying to get into the pants of that girl. So, you know, the power of the P might end up getting him squealing some stuff he shouldn't. But anyhow, um, we see that when they left the Vault 32 and Chet and the and Lucy's brother left Vault 32, that clearly Betty realized that, that this, that's where they came from. And then we see that as soon as she was elected, she's like, oh, I have an announcement. We're going to go see 32. And he's like, why would we do that? That seems strange that she would do it. But they show up and unsurprisingly, it's been cleaned. She said she contacted 31 about the fact that 32 shouldn't remain empty and that this is a joint initiative for them to repopulate and put people back into 32. But all I heard from that is that she contacted 31 and was like, hey, people are poking around. You need to do a cleanup job quick. So that's what they did. They went in and I love that they showed the flashes, you know, between what Lucy's brother remembered and what actually is there now. And we see that they've taken everything. All the bodies are gone. All the writing on the wall is gone. And of course, I'm sure all the bodies that were trying to claw their way into 31 are gone as well. So there's no evidence. Like everyone's going to continue to believe that everyone who died in 32 died at the hands of the surface world, not know that they were actually gone for some time. And then we see that the computer that was still very much functional in the, in, the 32 overseer's office was replaced by a broken one. And so I thought, you know, really well played with having Debbie or Betty show up and put her hands on uh, Lucy's brother's shoulder and be like, hey, did you find anything interesting, right? I really like that they're playing this little like, you know, we're, we're being nice on the surface, but both of us are playing a game here. I really, I really like the way they're playing that. But anyways, with him just basically like deciding to drop it and be like, yeah, well, anyways, about my mom's pit boy. And then she answers, um, I know it was buried with your mom because your dad and I buried her. So the, the knowing look she gave him, I'm between thinking that either she's trying to let him know that she knows he's digging and she wants him to keep digging or she's trying to warn him that his dad was in part of it. So maybe he should stop. But she did tell him to tread carefully last episode, not stop. So I don't know. I'm, I'm getting the sense that she's doing what she's supposed to do as a Vault 31 person, but she may not be down with the cause anymore. But she doesn't. She can't overtly say anything because my guess is that 31's got a bunch of spies in 33. So she probably can't overtly say anything. So that's my guess. Because I'm thinking if she really was trying to do her job, she would have done more to stop him from even finding out what he's found out so far, right? So anyway, so yeah, the, the conspiracy all roads leading to 31 is definitely it. We don't know what's going on there, but we know that Lucy's brother is definitely not going to stop poking around, especially now that they keep trying to cover up everything that he's discovering. So really, I feel like the prisoners are his last line of defense, right? They're the only ones who might be able to give him information that they have no reason to lie at this point. So yeah, I think that's why he's going to have to start talking to them or figuring out a way to get the trust of one of them to start telling him the truth. So yeah, I like that they're getting that, that both Lucy and her brother are getting, you know, to the truth in their different ways from different positions. But um, yeah, we'll have to see who gets to it first and what it's going to mean. But I have a feeling it's going to be Lucy. As I predicted, I really do think she's going to end up meeting her dad and her mom and find out that there's a whole lot that's going on. And maybe the fact that they keep rebombing, which is a new piece of information. This, I feel like this all ties into what's going on with the vaults and, you know, possibly whatever is going out of that research facility that the, the engineer ran away from. So, so yeah, still a lot of stuff to learn, still many answers that need to be given to us, but we have a few more episodes left, two more episodes, no, three, 
it's eight, right? Yeah, we've got three more episodes left. So yeah, we still have quite a bit of story to tell and uh, we still haven't seen what happened to the ghoul and whether or not he's gonna still tie back into this. I'm still wondering how he ties into it outside of the fact that he's been around since the very first of these nukes were dropped. So I'm, I'm loving the storytelling. I mean, the world itself is very cool and that's interesting, but what I'm really enjoying the most about this show has been the world building and this storytelling that they're showing with all these broken pieces, slowly but surely starting to put together this puzzle of what's inevitably a giant conspiracy theory. So yeah, another good episode. I enjoyed that a lot, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching along with me. If you did, please show some love and I'll see you in the next one.